Hello guys, my name is Johnny Dunn. Uh, I grew up in a little town just south of Alabama. My mom was a huge uh, musician and singer-songwriter. She wrote over 400 songs in her lifetime. Uh, she died very young, unfortunately. Uh, she passed away at 30, 39 years old, far too young. Um, but she spent most of her life uh, playing music and writing songs, and she always wanted to be a recording performing artist. And um, I guess that's where I get my talents from, my gifts. Uh, when mom died, uh, I, I promised her that I would try and get her songs published one way or the other, uh, whether it was me doing it or someone else, because I mean, she was just a great writer and had a really, really awesome talent for putting songs together. So it's really funny because my dad didn't want me to do it, uh, maybe because of you know what her, her situation was and she'd spent her life trying and trying and trying and never really broke past it. Um, so I just pestered him and pestered him and pestered him until finally one day he's like, fine. He said, but if you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it right. He got a, a, a record player out, one of them old, really old record players, and a stack of 33s and a stack of 45s. And he said, if you're going to learn to play, um, you're going to do it right. You're going to listen to the records. You're going to do it note for note. You're going to figure it out, and you're going to make it good. And I just sat there and listened to those records over and over and over and over again until I was sick of them and uh, figured it out, figured out the chords, the keys, the changes, the notes, everything. Unfortunately, uh, my dad passed away in 2011 uh, at the age of his, at 70 years old, and um, he just, he was my greatest fan. And so when I lost him, you know, it was, it was really hard. It was really, it just took a lot out of me and uh, took a lot out of my music because he was my number one supporter. He was the, the rock behind, you know, the foundation behind my music. And I, I want to leave a legacy for my children, you know. I've got uh, three boys and a girl, and uh, they all love my music. I really appreciate the opportunity that The Voice gives people to uh, do something bigger than them. And, you know, I've served my country before, and I'd like to serve my country again. And I think that the best way that I can do that now is through my music. You know, because of the, the gifts and talents that I received from my mom and my dad, you know, the belief that he put into me and on all the effort that he put in helping me learn and grow. I, I feel like it's my destiny to fulfill that for them and to honor their memory by continuing my music career. And I really believe that The Voice is giving me that opportunity to do that. And I think it's an amazing chance that you just don't get every day.